Okay, this is block seven, the greatest generation, section six, the war in Europe, um, with the section beginning the Holocaust and the Allied response. The Holocaust cannot be understood as a side note or a, uh, a side role to the war. Rather, the Holocaust is one of Hitler's reasons for going to war. Hitler held in his heart a very special hatred for the Jews. Uh, he equated them with vermin, with rats, not even human. Untermenschen uh, is the German word, it means subhuman. Please excuse the following uh, interruption. Will the family still please report to the And I will, Hosanne San Lucas, Alexander Sequera, Ina Martinez. Anand, Juan Nino, Christian Baez, and Esteban Gonzalez. Thank you. Why Hitler hated the Jews so much, there's lots of theories. No one really knows for sure. But he certainly equated Jews with uh, communists. He equated them both with having Asiatic blood, um, un-Germanness. Uh, the story of the Holocaust is a story that has been told more times than anybody can count. Um, Laws and rules against Jewish living started in Germany very early in Hitler's reign, uh, graduating to physical violence by 1938 with Kristallnacht, the Night of Broken Glass. Uh, and then after the war started, Hitler moved to eliminate the Jews as a race from Europe. His goal was literally for Europe to be Judenrein, or Jew free. And he worked on that with as much energy as he worked on the war through starvation, disease, mass shooting, mobile killing squads, slave labor, the population of Jews in Europe went down. And what you see here are pictures that defy human belief. What these are, these are squads of what were known as Einsatzgruppen, um, special squads that were ordered to go through occupied Poland and occupied Soviet Union, uh, murdering as many Jews and communists as they could. Here's a group of Nazis kind of watching an individual get his head blown off. Here's an Einsatzgruppen. They line people up by the side of the ditch. They shoot them in the back of the head. You can just see the bodies in the ditch. And here's just to personalize it just a little tiny bit. Here's a mother holding her child and getting shot in the back of the head uh, by an SS officer. This was not enough. It did not work quickly enough. And the Germans graduated to creating death factories, factories of death. Um, uh, there were four death camps, an in, in, innumerable number of concentration camps. These, this is the gas chamber at Auschwitz-Birkenau, and those are the crematoria at Auschwitz-Birkenau. Um, Hitler and his willing executioners from nearly all the nations of Europe uh, were complicit in murdering a, about six million Jews, about half of the Jews of Europe, and about five million others, mostly Soviet prisoners of war. When the camp, news of the camps had leaked out uh, since the beginning of the war. However, they weren't believed. Uh, and they weren't believed for two reasons. One, there was atrocity stories from World War I about how evil the Germans were that turned out to be pretty not true. And the second reason is they're unbelievable. It, it, it stretches the mind to believe that a country of such culture like Germany had soldiers going around lining people up in front of ditches and shooting them by the hundreds of thousands and then had created these factories where people were gassed and it, it literally was unbelievable. Um, the Allies had known about the camp's existence um, and as they liberated them it became painfully clear what Hitler and the Germans had been up to uh, in these camps, but the scale on which they were had happened was shocking to everybody. The Allies were faced with questions about why they did not bomb the camps, why did they not bomb the rail lines leading to them. The standard answer was the best way to end the Holocaust was to end the war as quickly as possible, and that uh, the rule that was set was no military assets, no bombers, no troops, would be specifically used just to attack uh, the concentration camps or the logistics and the infrastructure that fed them. The argument was that, that that sort of thing would take away from winning the war as quickly as possible 
and with the war won, the Holocaust would stop. Um, what angered a lot of uh, Jewish leaders and allies of the Jews in both Britain and the United States was that uh, U.S. immigration policy and British immigration policy did not change uh, in response to the Holocaust. Jews trying to get out of Europe found it very difficult to get to the United States. Jews trying to get out of Europe and go to British Palestine found it very difficult to get into British Palestine. Um, this was seen, this was just a general policy on immigration in the United States. Um, the United States was not accepting any uh, immigrants, really, uh, after the Immigration Act of 1924. The consequences of the Holocaust are far-reaching, obviously, uh, and we're, they're going to play a huge role in the creation of the State of Israel, uh, which we will have a look at in Block 